Okay, chat, corrupts 53 minutes. Chat, one of the chapters dropped in for 53 minutes of pure knowledge. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh lord. Yes! Round 115. Achieved by Syndicate on Dude, November 3rd. Was it faked though, chat? There was a lot of controversy that this was faked. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about that? I don't know. 2011. This record would go on to gain over 14 million views. Seen by people who had never touched Call of Duty. 14 million? To say this Bro, that's like... A lot! <laughs> remains the most popular video in the zombies community. You proved it's Dunham, real? Okay, Crops. Kino oh, Dutton, okay. The most iconic okay. map in zombie history. Oh, so what makes this map so iconic? And why does this map contain one of the greatest speedruns of all time? Black Ops 1 makes this map iconic. I agree. First, let me explain the basics of the map. Track Kino or 5. Eight rooms, 9 mystery box locations, 5 perks, 5 traps, 2 wonder weapons, claymores, and a teleporter that leads to the Pack-a-Punch. It's, the it's a map! The teleporter is located it's in the feeder map. room. A key room in the map which contains a power switch, claymores, juggernaug, and two box locations. Dude, claymores Another key location is the lower hall. Kino, this room man. contains a fire trap. They don't do this nothing. was a fire first trap. of its kind the and allowed legendary. the player to kill more zombies in a bigger area. While yes. seemingly insignificant legendary at the time, right this trap would prove crucial to future records. Lastly, Kino Dertoen would introduce a new wonder weapon. The Thunder Gun. This weapon contained two shots also, in Also, Mule Kick got added into Kino as well. You know? Despite having a small amount of ammo, it wasn't the weapon dealt infinite damage which made games safer, especially in tricky situations. Okay, now that I've explained everything, let's get into the first record. The first record? Is it on actually On November Tom? 13th, yeah, I was like, no 2010, way. four days after Call of Duty Black Ops released, the douche would- This is 11 years ago, chat. 11 years ago achieve round 47. Unfortunately, there is barely any footage of his game. Therefore, we do not know the exact strategy he ran. Dude, he's got better quality than me 11 years ago. if he died or aired. However, oh my we gosh. do know he most likely ran the Matt's stage trap, which involves running around the stage and using a thunder gun to kill the Klaus zombies. Is the guy the Lastly, we Kino, do know so. he had a ray gun, which he most likely Chad, who's used the to guy drop, in the mysterious such as a Max portrait? Ammo. Who? Who and he it? had monkey bombs, which is a distraction device. True. As simple as a setup and strategy was, it proved crucial for earlier records. That is true. Two weeks later, <laughs> Mato Master 21 would achieve round 53. Making this the first round Dude, 50 in Black Mato Ops. Master. Unlike the I, is that strategy, Mato Master would use a teleporter leading up to the pack a punch this room to kill the zombies. Despite the strategy being much slower than the stage strat, it was much safer, allowing for higher rounds to be somewhat achievable. However, because the rounds were slow, it was this very quality, boring. Though. Matter of yeah. fact, Mato Master said his game took him five and a half hours just to reach round 53 when the douche's Bruh. stage strat would only take him roughly three hours to reach round 50. Five and a half a hours for round 50? because barely anyone wanted That's to play my a game type that took pace, five dude. and a half hours only to round 53. And because of this, Mato Master's strategy was scrapped and never used again. True. Why are you taking On December 12th, 2010, J Love's 2 game would achieve round 80, beating the previous record by 33 80. rounds. Just like the douche's record, J Love would run That's the stage such a bad strategy. Name, bro. Although I'm there sorry. was a problem, J Love's game was probably modded. Got Why? On well, on round boys? 80, I he had so. 1,841 kills. Oh, the reason this no. is suspicious is due to the fact he only used a thunder gun to kill the zombies. If you're not counting, Dr no, this man, this is the man that cheated. 1,800 kills by round 80. Lol. W. J Love should have had 16,879 kills. However, if we count dog rounds, and we are generous enough to give him dogs every four rounds up to round 80, he should have had roughly 7,800 kills. <laughs> Still, that's a Whoa, huge wow. difference. Secondly, in his game over leaderboard, he achieved 797,570 points. Yeah, that's which impossible. Which is strange considering he only used a thunder gun to kill the zombies. Technically, you could argue he made the points from using wall weapons or weak box weapons, that's but it's easy BS, to rule out dude. the assumption because they modern day players who are really good at they making points struggle to reach 800,000 by round 80. 
Lastly, J-Love would down roughly 2 minutes and 35 seconds in the video. Once he was revived, he instantly threw a monkey. However, instead of immediately buying his perks back to stay alive longer, he decided to play without perks. Because of this, it is argued he wanted to end his game due to boredom. Play Although without perks? I disagree. Who are you? Instead of being revived and purposely running towards huh? the zombies in this game, how come he threw the monkey immediately after? Obviously, this is really suspicious, and because there's a lot of evidence a pointing to his game this being man's modded, a hoax. I think it's He's safe to say it's not the record. However, two He'll months later, a more shot? believable record would be I set by another player. Maybe if he comes On out February 1st, 2011, Jam would achieve round 91, Ooh. setting a new world record. Dude, Although, the unlike quality. the state strategy, yes. Jam would I'm run his own it. unique strat. Jam's strategy involves starting at the stage area, running down into the lobby area, and then activating the lecture trap. Then he would run into the PM63 area, then run into the foyer room, and lastly into the dressing room, what which leads to the this? stage area. The reason Jam ran into these two areas is because the PM63 and dressing room had kills even traps. With traps that have to and the lobby yeah. trap was recharging, you'd run into the you get PM63 kills room by like and activate round the electric trap and continue round the circle. 30. Once the PM63 electric trap was recharging, he would do the same thing with the dressing room and repeat. While the strategy was simple, it was very efficient, allowing him to get through the rounds fast and making this the first known trap strategy on the map. This would prove crucial for future records as running stage would be too slow and boring. Though, that didn't mean running a trap strategy. Yeah, why is the stage spawn so bad? Like, when you run stage, you get motherfuckers coming at you from jug. It was more fun. What are you in fact, doing it was point? still boring. So doing? boring, in fact, he purposely ended his game because of how repetitive the strategy was. <laughs> I love how you just don't hear this type of shit today. Like, you have people grinding certain zombies maps like 16 hey, hours a day. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Dave here, and I've just finished Dave's live stream, and I was wondering where people were going in the live stream. Holy, oh, this is OG. Oh, all that stuff. But this I realized because the live stream cut out before, I, I, and didn't show the end. I said, this is the end. And, um, Dave ironically, the, the uh, live stream cut out at exactly that point. This is Dave the Rave. And while unknowing at the time, he was the new world record holder. Dude, However, I have not this talked record this wasn't like, like the previous decade. ones. Instead of achieving round 92, he achieved round 109. Oh. The first round 100. Dave was the first round 100 on Kino? What? On Kino with Raton. On top of the round 100, instead of running jam strategy, I had Dave no ran a strategy clue. similar to the previous records, wow. the stage strategy. Because Dave achieved the first round Holy 100 on Kino, it would popularize the stage strategy even though it wasn't wow. as efficient as Jam's strategy. Still, there is one plus side to the stage strategy, trading. That's trading is crazy. a term used for swapping out a specific weapon yep. and then getting the specific weapon back out of the box. Oh, Despite trading being entirely luck based, up. if you're lucky enough, you could play faster than Jam's strategy. Unfortunately for Dave, his record would not stand for long. Although it would lead to the That's most crazy. known record in zombie history. Wow. I I know that Dave was the first one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Syndicate would upload his record wow. of round 115. Well, unknown to popular belief, Syndicate actually achieved round 116. Still, that isn't a huge difference. In Chat, do I go back and get round 117? Yes or no? Just like the previous records here in the stage strategy, I think I should. However, I think it'd what be makes so this record funny. stand out from the rest is because it is the most viewed video so in Call funny. of Duty Zombies. Hell, is that wild? This is the most viewed video on COD Zombies. I think over really? 14 million people viewed it. Wow. Even people who never touched or heard of Call of Duty saw this video. Yeah. That's how popular it was. And because of this, it was it was it an icon. a jump start in YouTube. So Absolutely. much so, it led him into a multi-million subscribed YouTube channel. It this one video literally launched. What if his I told you career. Syndicate's game was modded? Yeah, the 115 <gasps> game. Okay, I know you're surprised by this. How is a 14 million viewed record with nearly full gameplay modded? First, let me explain the most conclusive I'm, evidence I'm, against I Syndicate's thought you said 115 it wasn't. game being cheated. Ali A buried is the most popular. That's what I thought. I thought it was either like Syndicate's Nuketown gameplay, his Mob of the Dead gameplay, or Ali A's uh, buried October gameplay. October 16th, 2011, Syndicate would upload his first video of the supposed 115 game. In the video, Syndicate achieves round 69. However, 69? that's not what I'm here for. What I'm here for is a character he is playing as. 
In the video, Syndicate is playing as Nikolai. However, a day later, Syndicate would upload three more videos leading up to his 115 game. These three videos show him on round 71, 75, and 80. It's gotta be 71, isn't it? 81. Although there is a problem with these three videos. Instead of playing as Nikolai, Syndicate was playing as Takio. Keep oh, in mind, it is brother. impossible to change your character mid-game. On top true. of that, in the description he says he played the round 69 game over the course of 6 hours with breaks. Keep in mind, this was uploaded wow. a day before the round 71, 75, and 81 game. So who is he out. playing as in so this game? So what are the game, odds though? of him taking breaks, playing through He's round playing 69 and 81, He's editing, rendering, then uploading 4 videos within the span of a day? And, in the description of the 69 game, he says he stopped playing with Mule Kick because he downed with a Thunder Gun in his third slot. Now, like in terms of in terms of his production, I think even back then Tom had a team of people helping him out. Maybe I'm wrong, but on the 71 know. footage, he says the exact same thing in the description of the video. Because I've just been really avoiding stupid downs, but the only stupid down I've had was at round 27, and that's when I had Mule Kick. Now everyone's been like, Why no Mule Kick? And the reason for no mule kick is simply because I had it, but I got the mule kick and then I got the thunder gun. So the thunder gun was in my mule kick slot, which is an absolutely idiotic move. I just completely forgot about losing it. I just didn't think I'd go down to me. That doesn't really go matter, though, because you have so to trade it out, So this proves that Syndicate's right? game was spliced because he said the exact same thing in his round 69 gameplay. And he was playing as Nikolai, not Takio. Yeah. On top of that, Syndicate replied to another video Russian made about his record. Oh, I in did not reply, know that he, he says. My game crashed after the round 69 hype video I posted, so I had to redo the run. So, I picked up where I left off. I understand the confusion of me talking about the downs, etc., but I literally picked up where I left off as if it was the same run. Hmm. Uh, Wait, da, da, so you're telling da, da. me your round 69 game crashed after you uploaded it, then you somehow banged out another game and achieved round 81 the next day, and then somehow edited, rendered, and uploaded round 71, True. 75, and 81, True. while in the process of taking breaks. What? <laughs> well, to even add more evidence, he uploaded the Minecraft video on the Your same day too. Corrupts. Now you could argue he played the Nikolai game within a couple of- This way, hold on a second, this motherfucker uploaded 115 and then he went on to Minecraft right after? of days before uploading it, but what are the odds of him uploading the videos within a day apart and then claim they are the same game? That's wild. But there's even more That's evidence to prove he's placed this game. In Syndicate's round 69 gaming. game, he had a film reel. Now in his round Ooh, 71 footage, he did not have a not film reel. There. So the only way for him to get rid of the film reel is to go up to the Pack-a-Punch room and then put the film reel inside Which of the movie projector. Which is not that hard. Now when that happens, the big screen in the theater starts changing pictures. However, in Syndicate 71 game, there are no changing oh. pictures on the screen, adding more evidence that these are not the two same games. To add on top of those two, in his round 69 game, he never got monkeys from a max ammo. However, oh. in his round 71 and above he gameplay, he has monkey bombs. Keep in oh, mind, Syndicate would have had to do trades before round 69 in this game, and the chances of him not getting monkey bombs up to that point is almost zero. Do you remember that one knock through a Toten game I had where it literally took, literally, I, it was round 50, I think, when I got monkey bombs. Round 50, I was spinning that fucker. So, so with this conclusive evidence, it's pretty obvious Syndicate modded. Now, there's still more evidence against this record being cheated, although I would sucked. say it isn't conclusive <laughs> and evidence, they suck. but it is still highly suspicious. If you remember, Syndicate said he downed on round 27 in this game. However, he took another down in round 81, and word for word, he says, Oh my god, my second down. You have got to be shitting me. So, Syndicate says he's got two downs. Now that means he bought Cook Revive two times. So, to stay alive longer, he goes to buy his third Cook Revive. After you buy your third Cook Revive, the machine disappears, meaning but you can no longer purchase it. Game. So after your third down, you have to play flawlessly. So was it two different game games? Anyway, that must have been what it was, Syndicate right? got his second down, he goes I'm to buy so the confused. Cook Revive for the third time, which means it should disappear. It should have disappeared, Well, the yeah. next time we see the location, the Cook Revive machine is on round 84, and the Cook Revive machine is still there. Right off the bat, this is Damn. very suspicious. Now, the Cook Revive machine is no longer there as seen on round 114, Confirming he did not mod the Cook Revive machine. Wait, hold on a second. There. What most likely happened is he is referring to the round uh, 27 down maybe. he took in his 69 game. 
which is obviously a different game than the one he is in. However, once again he tried lying and saying the round 69 game was the same game as the round 71 game. Technically, you could argue Syndicate misspoke, but I find that really hard to believe since he specifically said he took it down on round 27. And then on round 81, he said that was word for word, my second down. Another red flag with Syndicate's game is a wall buys. Now if we take an example such as the M14, once you- Damn chat, is your childhood ruined by watching this video? Buy it, it <laughs> permanently stick out of the wall, showing you bought it before. And this is the case for every wall buy. Let's because see. of this, I will show every wall buy he did not buy in this game. Oh, they fucked him on the wall buys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And doesn't have the Bowie. Has purchased the AK. Keep in mind, Syndicate only had the AK-74U, MP40, and M16 bought off the wall up until round 71. So, this raises a huge question on I mean, how he played possible. his early rounds. I Theoretically, mean, he could have bought either the two doors in the first room, and if the box was there, he could have hit it and got a weapon to get through the early rounds. Still, this seems unlikely because his early round strategy seems much different than the ones he used. And but Yeah, if yeah cause he always it, buys- I literally remember watching Tom when I was fucking a, a pleb. And I remember that he was the one that would always buy the M14. Whereas like someone like Ali A would play and he would only get the knife. And I like to play zombies. And See, you love to buy yeah. the M14 off the wall too. That's it. Lastly, in two suspicious point. occasions of his 115 gameplay, it black screens for a couple of seconds. Starting around 14 minutes into the video, Snake Chat, gets why did this take like 10 years to, to figure out? Is it just because we live in a, a, a cancel culture society or what is himself it? in a somewhat unsafe position. I don't know why this took so long. At 14 long. minutes and 14 seconds in this game, it black screens. Now this could be a glitch with the recording, which is 100% possible, but I do find it weird it happened at this exact moment. The next time this gameplay black screens, it starts at 27 minutes and 56 seconds. This is somewhat huh. suspicious since this gap is much smaller than the previous ones in the video. That looked like a glitch because you can see him move still. That so one looks like a glitch. So black screen as soon as he is about to get past it. I know some of you guys are saying, well, he doesn't know how to activate no clip or god mode. Well, in this video, it shows Syndicate activating no clip, which proves Syndicate knows how to activate god mode and no clip. However, it is fairly oh, easy no. to dismiss a black screen since it takes a couple of seconds until the no clip disappears at the top left. And in the second clip, he took a hit from the zombie. Plus, there are multiple occasions of him black screening at random non-suspicious parts in the video. Now this evidence isn't conclusive. Hell, it's not very suspicious. That's pretty crazy though. I Like, chat, is there any way he's legit then? Unless he had two games. Unless there was two games. But yeah, yet again, only buying the MP40? I don't know. However, if we put the conclusive evidence it, it's and the highly suspicious evidence together, I think it's safe to say Syndicate's 115 record is, in fact, cheated and not the record. Despite Syndicate's record being cheated, it wouldn't take <laughs> long until someone got a new world record. Matter of fact, it would only take a couple of days. On November 5th, 2011, Ravex would have Dude, bruh, that's a, can we just get a bruh in the chat? That, that's a wild, wild, wild play. But yeah, it's like how? Achieve round 120. Just like Jam's record, Damn. Ravex would run the same strategy. Although it was more than likely he ran the stage strat up to round 100 plus. 46 <laughs> Chat, no, this is not modded. This is just me, dude. I don't shoot for the head at all. Strategy, <laughs> which would explain why he this had over a million and a me. half points. Unfortunately, there is barely any gameplay of this record as everything was unlisted. Right so figuring out what he ran in the early rounds and what round he ran jam strategy is didn't buy MP40. Almost impossible. I just saw However, that. this would leave a final mark on the stage strat. 
Two days later, Relaxing End would upload his personal best of round 113. This video would reveal course, a new strategy, the fast lobby strategy. Of course, Unlike the stage strat and jam strategy, this new strategy would prove to be more consistent, faster, and safer, making it the first of its kind. Unfortunately, players would not use it's the fast lobby strat as soon as Relaxing's mm -hmm. video came out. The reason players did not use it as soon as possible is because zombie players weren't as known back then. There were no mainstream strategies at the time. Because of this, the strategies players used for world record attempts would vary until many months, if not years, until the best strategy was finally used by most. Chat, I, crops, I just realized, if you released this video, like, nine years ago, like, in 2011, you would literally be starting one of the biggest dramas ever i guarantee you crops you would be on drama alert if you had this information nine years ago and that's fucking insane that is literally insane to think about it's players but it's later, just because there's been so much time now nobody really cares the right? gym would achieve around 132 beating the previous record by a whopping 12 rounds as expected, Jim would not run the fast lobby strat. However, he ran a strategy that used electro traps. Unfortunately, we do not know what strategy he used recorded. for the electro traps, as Chat. there's barely any How footage low of this game. Is this? Although Give we do the know he is running dude. trap strategies as I'm practice for virtual record attempts. At the time, zero. people thought this game was modded because he was only using electro traps. And Jim pixels. saying this was practice for Verrucked was very odd because if he truly wanted to practice, he could have went to Verrucked. Still, it makes sense why Jim said this because Kino is slightly easier than Verrucked when it comes to trap strategies. On Verrucked, the only way to kill zombies in the higher rounds is to use electric traps. Despite the Dude, change in strategies, Jim's record would not stand for long. It's interesting how like Tom cultivated the Kino speedrun, but then like afterwards it was just like beaten weeks instantly later by other a zombies people. legend named zero toll dt would achieve around 133 running the fast lobby strat finally proving the strategy can Damn. be used for very high rounds also this was the first record since mato masters game to have an estimated time it took to reach round 133. the estimated time was 44 in-game hours 40. which shows you how long these games can be 44? thankfully you can pause your game although if you couldn't it would what? stop most players from achieving a high round. Those who are willing Only to attempt the world record would have suffered from health insane. problems. Anyway, you might have noticed I called Zero Toll a legend. The reason I called him a legend is because of the world records he would achieve a month later, the moon and ascension solo high round world record, both becoming the first resets on any map. If it wasn't wow. obvious enough, Zeratol was extremely talented, therefore yeah, man, making his Kino record stand much wild. longer than the previous ones. In fact, his record was so good, every previous world record holder's chance of beating the 133 game was crushed. Although, Damn. that didn't stop one player. Who are they, you ask? Who is it? King Jack. Hey, King Jack was an upcoming zombie player. Dude, who this guy is legendary in the Dere scene. This guy is legendary. It's only one goal in I don't line. know if he's the even uploaded in like the last touched. six years. To say this was an understatement is wrong, because on yeah. June 15th, 2012, he would upload a new world record of wow. round 142, crushing Zeratul's world record. Holy. Yet, this time, his world record would he run a more new known strategy, for the Insta-Trap. Kino, this strategy was invented by LA he started playing and later optimized by Let's King go. Jack, as Let's shown in the go. gameplay. The strategy That's involved the fire cool. trap and the electro trap leading from the lobby to the stage. First, a player would start in the fire trap room and activate the electro trap leading to the stage. Then the player so entered the stage moving, so and waited roughly 20 oh, seconds shit. for all Good the zombies shit, to spawn Jack, in. Man. Once a zombie spawned in, they would go through the trap into the lobby, also known as the starting room. Because they went into the lobby, the zombie spawning from stage would die in Does the Does he still trap, hold his Dereese record? His Dereese record was ridiculous. This would allow for an easy hoard up as the zombies idea. were spread out because of the Fuck, open space. That's too bad. Once the player finished hoarding up the zombies, they'd go into the lower hall. After the player reached the room, they would activate the electro trap and rebuild the window next to the MPL wall by. They would continue Dereese to rebuild this window sleep. until the fire trap ended. And immediately went to activate the electro trap leading to the stage hence the name insta trap as simple yes. as the strategy was it proved to be much safer and faster when although there is one the small issue with the strategy it lacked consistency the when the player activated the electro trap and waited for the zombies to spawn they didn't just spawn in the stage He's on they the also spawned spawn. near the starting room 
This would prove oh. a problem as the zombies spawned in the window yeah. next to the left side and of the trap. Meaning the player it. would occasionally have to jump through the trap with one, two, two, hell maybe even three zombies oh, nearly brother. killing them while they are stunned. If they were lucky enough to get past the trap, they would have to wait for the zombies to spawn in the lobby. Most yeah. of the time this was not an issue as the majority of the zombies that walked through the trap spawned instantly. However, there were a few zombies yeah. that took a bit longer to walk through the he trap. These zombies were called Nova Crawlers, or Novas for short. They became a problem as they moved much slower than normal zombies, meaning yes, they would take much longer to walk through the trap, therefore causing late spawns. This made hoarding up much harder for the player as they had to deal with the zombies that spawned these. instantly as well as the zombies that spawned later, leading to They're unfair downs. Guns. That's Still, it. You just need it this was not a big issue, rather more blocks. an annoyance as the player had a thunder gun, which can kill an entire horde instantly and with MPL one is shot. In the fire so that trap begs the question, was this strat really an issue to run? I not so. really. Uh, because maybe. of this, it would be used by King Jack multiple times in future world record attempts, just as well by other players sometimes. too. Why use meal cake? Out of the what blue, the, a new uh, record of around 179 sheesh! would be achieved. Unknown to the dude? community, this new record would be achieved by a new player. At least that's what they thought. Remember King Jack? Yeah, he would beat his record by a landslide. Oh my god. Keep in mind, he beat his previous record by nearly 40 rounds running the exact same strategy, Man's making this one of the biggest Kino round gaps in Zombies game. World Record history. On top of that, this game became the first of its kind. How so? Well, Why King Jack reached the first insta-kill rounds they, on Kino de Tome. If you don't know, insta-kill rounds are a bug that happens on every Black Ops 1 map. Starting on round 163, the zombie's health goes oh, back to Oh, so round. King Jack was the first to hit the fucking insta-kill rounds? That's insane! Round 1 health, continuing on in a pattern. Once a zombie's wow. health reaches a 32-bit integer limit on round I had no idea. It's forced back to the round one health wow. because it cannot go any higher than this number, allowing players to kill the zombie. Dude, he must have been. Dude, weapon. he must have been like, "What the fuck is going on?" When the first happened, I would have been so confused if I played like Kino for the first time. He gets like round eight, 180. All of a sudden, the zombie health. Because this bug exists, like one. It makes rounds faster and like, safer, huh? allowing players to get through the high rounds more consistently than before. I literally Yet, would have it made known. world records harder to achieve as a player would have to make it around 163 with only three lives. This can be very tricky That's because making hard. it to around 163 it's can take hard. at least 27, 28 in game hours on Keen or Tone. Wow. However, since the strategies were slower back in the this day, this game is dog this take shit. Up no to ring of fire. To 40 Dude, where's your hours, ring? Pop ring. Making it even harder to achieve this round. Come Still, on. if a player reached round 163, their game would become slightly easier because of insta kill rounds. This would heavily motivate players to beat King Jack's record. And a month later, a player's dream of getting the record would come true. Dude, the fact that motherfuckers only take a month to beat records. I hate, On I August hate, 4th, I hate 2012, I hate a player named Horde Kill Repeat would achieve round 188, <laughs> just like King Jack's previous records. He, he nailed it on the head, though. That's that's Although his the game would right last over me. 70 hours. That's While true. insignificant at the time, this was the first record on Kino to push the map to its limits. Why, you ask? Well, if you remember Zeratul's resets on Moon and Ascension, Horde Kill Repeat got extremely close to it. In fact, he was so close. Had he stayed alive for another hour, he would have reset, making Bruh. it the first time he knew. Unfortunately for him, he would get trapped by a zombie next to the couch in the fire trap room. <gasps> Although instead of turning what around, is and that trap? Down, what is dude? The zombie literally grabbed him by the shirt right there. What was that? He couldn't even see him in the game. Which could play. have saved him. He Honestly, you know what the problem is here? 60 FOB gameplay. Said shot That's the problem. Forward, causing him to only kill an overcrawler and eventually That's led him to down. Despite FOB the unfortunate gameplay. down, Horde's record would go down as one of the most influential records because on August 24th, wow. 2012, King Jack would reclaim his record and achieve round 193. And he's like, I and got this the time, reset. Gamer. He would make his record stand because he achieved the first reset on Kino de Toten. Also, this was wow. one of many attempts to reach. <laughs> Could you two. imagine just playing and you just see the Kino loading screen and you're like, what the fuck? Hundred <laughs> around which had not been achieved on any map Could at the time. Could you imagine? This would give Jack a slow That'd yet big so falling in the funny. zombies community as many high round players and casuals wanted to see the first 200. This was significant because it was one of the first times the high round community 
and casual community was not divided, making the hype for the first round 200 even more exciting than before. Because the quest for the first round 200 was getting so much hype, it would motivate King Jack. In fact, it would motivate him so much he would achieve round 175 dude, on Pyre, round 191 on Darius, <sighs> and eventually round 198, what two rounds fuck? away from 200. As unfortunate as this fuck? was, King Jack would keep his promise of achieving round 200, because on March 3rd, 2013, he would achieve a brand new world record on Kino of round 199. Ooh. Yes, you heard that right. Ooh. Round 100 and Wait, did he die on 199? Don't say this to me. 99. One round off the 200. No. To make matters worse, no. he reset less than an hour off of achieving round 200. No. Obviously, this was devastating for King Jack and his viewer base. Spending over 70 hours just to miss your goal by less than an hour would cause anyone I'd to feel motivated cried. to play again. In I'd a way, it never did for play King Jack. While he still kept playing, he would try faster maps such as Darius to increase his chances of achieving oh round 200, God, meaning his round 199 Kino game would that be his last it. on the map forever. Oh, dude, that sucks. Despite Jack achieving the... You know what, Treyarch, F you for that, dude. F Treyarch for that one, bro. Come biggest on. round bust in history, he would inspire many other players to enjoy the high round scene and attempt world records. One of which was Magic Goldbox. At the time, Magic Goldbox was another upcoming Actually zombies sad. player who achieved around 176 a month prior. To put that in perspective, Goldbox was one of two players who was nearly able to beat King Jack, the other which was Horde Kill Repeat who beat King Jack and achieved around 188. This was very special as King Jack no for the baby. first time in a while was finally getting competition. No wonder this increased the hype yeah, for the yeah. first round 200 as two What's players up, were capable of reaching it. And starting on March 27th, 2013, Damn. Magic Goldbox would start his quest of achieving Dude, the first- I don't know what it is, but always it's the French. The French players are so good at zombies. This has always been the case. Literally from like World at War, I would even say up to like BL3, even Cold War, man. There are French motherfuckers that are gaming COD zombies, man. Parlez-vous français? After his first oui, oui, monsieur. Je peux parler en français. Robox upload updates of this game over the course That's of a couple of days. Mm. First, he reached round 135, and then round 171, and eventually Son round 186, a new personal best for Globox. Besides King Jack, this was the highest round achieved since Horde's 188 game. On top of that, Globox's game was flawless, and much faster than King Jack's game. Goldbox came up with a new insta-kill strategy. The insta-kill strategy he used was in the alley Ooh. and abused the AK-74U wall by. <laughs> abused Although, instead that of leaving the AK-74U on upgraded, he upgraded it to deal more damage, meaning the oh, zombies would die in one hit. Oh, dude, that gameplay where you shoot the thunder gun, nothing dies, can we just get an F? Oh, dude, there's nothing but pain when that happens, dude. This allowed for faster and safer that insta kill hurt rounds. It. Lastly, that while unknown it. at the time, the alley does not spawn Nova Crawlers, which is really good, but in a different way. What most people think is it spawns normal zombies, which means they come to you faster, therefore <laughs> making you play faster. In a way, it is true. However, each zombie counts what as an extra entity edit, towards dude? the map. These are temporary as they go <laughs> away once edit? the zombie is off the map, but over time it will uh, add up. Uh, so if all what is this? 54 heures de jeu! Zombies count as one entity. How does it affect reset in any way? Well, Nova Crawlers count as two entities, not one, meaning you will reset earlier than you want. This gave Goldbox an advantage as he achieved more rounds in this game due to the reset being an hour or two longer than King Jack's reset. Although this didn't guarantee him <laughs> I the first love, 200. I love how this guy really came up with the I love Treyarch. Like, There's a few things really you have to understand why Goldbox's game was more vulnerable to ending so than funny. King Jack's games. First, he played on PC. Now playing PC gave players a slight Ooh, advantage PC over console F's players up, and that was trap lag. The more you activate traps over time, the game starts to slow down on console. This is probably due to the hardware limitations probably and the way the game is coded. Still, how does that give PC a slight disadvantage compared to console? Well, PC games were more likely to crash, especially back then due to hardware limitations this and having a bunch of programs running in the background would cause the game to play slower and eventually lead boys? to a freeze or an He's error. And it was believed that PCs had no reset, meaning players could play as long as they want. Obviously, we know that PC and console reset at very similar times, but since nobody knew this back in the day, it became quite controversial. Dude, Surprisingly, and that's the thing. They were 
like, bro, 44 hours of footage, by the way, to get to like round 100 fucking 30 plus. Yeah, record all of that. Let me see literally all of that. In 2010? Motherfucker, you were lucky if you were able to record like five minutes, let alone 44 hours. This did not stop Goldbox from playing PC because on April 4th, 2013, this happened. Oh, no. Or is this good? Oh, the 200, the 200. Uh, J'aime le Treyarch, j'aime Treyarch. Uh, je peux parler en français, j'aime Treyarch. Le Treyarch. Woo! Two and a half years after Black Ops 1 launch, round 200 Gem, was finally Gem achieved. A round which was thought to be impossible became possible. Although impossible. unknown to some, Goldbox still had six hours left in this game, which meant he could achieve an even higher round. And he did Rub just that. Ooh. On April 7th, his flex, graphics card though. crashed on 209. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, this is me! <laughs> right, round 209. To say this record is impressive oh, is an understatement. Me. <laughs> a record this high quite literally ended off with a bang oh, and officially made zombies a competitive speedrun. While it doesn't have an official ending, players now had to play faster than Goldbox to beat his record. True. Otherwise, if they didn't, they would reset before achieving round 209. This now meant a player had to get luckier with dog rounds or they'd have to come up with a new strategy to play faster. So that's what players did. And on October 31st, 2013, this Extreme Toker, like arguably true. one of the greatest true. zombie players of all time, would achieve round 212, what? running a somewhat new strategy called Insta Fire Trap. Hey, the Insta Fire Trap is. is pretty much the exact same as there the Insta Trap. However, the player would stand in a very small pocket wow. inside of the Fire so Trap. This was the guy On that top made of that, it. the shit, zombies from the MPL window would run into the trap, what a meaning genius. the strategy was slightly faster. This strategy was created Damn. by Five and Five and Fishy Zor oh. back in July of 2012. Dude, okay, Five and Five is probably one of the greatest like World at War Black Ops One players. That man is on every single fucking record. Dude. Which may come as a surprise to you, since the strategy was not used for nearly a year and a half later. The reason Actually, for this was a strategy barely getting recognized by the high round community, therefore making it relatively unknown. However, with Toger's Actually new world insane. record, he would bring the strategy to the spotlight, allowing players to play an even faster and safer Kino de Tone game. This was special as big players like IL Steve IL were interested in the strategy, eventually leading Steve, Steve and other nuts. players to attempt the Kino world record. Although running this strategy was very hard, even though he had multiple lives and an infinite damaging wonder weapon, it was very easy to get trapped in the corner, eventually causing players to spam their thunder yeah, gun. It's a hard, this it's became a, hard a major shot. problem as you want to conserve your ammo as much as possible yep. to play faster and reduce traits which could cost a player the world record. It's so beating shot, this people. record was very <laughs> hard, eventually shit. taking weeks and then months until it was broken. F. But then, on February 15th, 2014, Bro. ILC Vial would achieve a new world record on Kino de Tone. And just like Toker's game, he ran the Insta Fire Trap, or more commonly called the Double Trap. Although, unlike Toker's game, he ran no Dude. Nova Crawlers. To I, like, how does he live? <laughs> Doing no Nova Crawlers while running the Double Trap strategy, you have to avoid running into the lobby. This can be really useful when wanting to play faster and extending your reset, although you have to sacrifice Cook Revive, which is pretty unfortunate, but it's not no impossible baby. to do a flawless game. Despite sacrificing Cook Revive, that's players found running ridiculous. no Novas was worth it, and that's exactly what Steve did. Damn. Starting from round 1 all the way up to round 113, he would run no Novas, which was very impressive at the time. Sadly, Steve had to stop running no Novas on round 113 because he took it down due to a Thunder Gun fail. Still, oh, this allowed Steve bro. to save a good amount of time compared to Toker, Dude, which, fuck the thunder gun for that which meant shit, he had a high chance of beating Toker's game. As Steve progressed through the rounds, that chance slowly grew higher and higher, especially when he hit round 200. The estimated time the Steve time saved count? by reaching round 200 was roughly 1 to 2 hours no! faster than Toker, which meant he was a whole Oh, dude, that is the worst! Whole hour or two faster Bro. than Toker. This is really good for Steve as the rounds above 200 that were roughly sucks. an hour long, meaning he would get at that least sucks. one round higher than Toker. 
So Steve continued I grinding through the, the rounds, and eventually the found himself guns. on round 205, then round 210, oh and eventually God. round 212, a new tied world record. This was insane, Steve could beat Toker's record by nearly 3 rounds with the pace he was going at. And 53 minutes into round 212, this happened. <laughs> yep, nearly 10 minutes away from beating Toker's record, Steve reset. Why is that so this funny? everyone as Steve was 1 to 2 hours so faster funny, than Toker. Dude. The, fucking the, the reason students. this happened is due to Steve resetting an hour or two earlier Bruh. than Toker. Most likely due to the restarts which happened. Yeah, I'm laughing. Meanwhile, I'm laughing at someone playing for like hundreds of hours. He's override uh, into a new game. I just, as I would cry if that shit happened to me. Steve tied the record, which meant two people held the record. Although this wouldn't last for long. In the background, another player named Vlonso was achieving Kino. And two days wow. later, on February 17th, 2014. Keep Lonzo would achieve round 213, a, a new world record, resetting hours. nearly 74 hours in. Oh Unfortunately, there is barely any gameplay of this record, so oh explaining what happened earlier God. in this game is next to impossible. But if there's one thing to take from this record, never underestimate the power of determination, because True. a new record by someone you don't know could be right around the corner. True that. True that. That's that's. And two months stadium. later, on great April fourteenth, two thousand fourteen, Acerad would tie Blonsta's world record. Acerad's record would be very similar to Steve's record as he played no Novas to round. Could you imagine playing seventy five hours of a one game just to tie the world record? <laughs> and he had to the reset than Blonsta. Yet he was you able to tie Blonsta's record, most likely due to dog rounds, which can occur on four to five round That's intervals. Some the more four rounders you get, the faster you'll be, as dog rounds only take at most a minute to complete. Also, dog rounds occur on insta-kill rounds. This means you want as many dog rounds on non-insta-kill rounds <coughs> to play faster. Although, because they can occur on insta-kill rounds, it is very Requiem? easy yes, to miss one, the the and therefore scene. makes you slower. This becomes a major problem as the game becomes more RNG-dependent than skill-based. However, just like any speedrun, players will restart for the perfect RNG. As annoying as it was to deal with, True. players would grind until they got their dream game, one of which was Filipino, arguably one of the greatest if Why not have the I greatest seen this Kino name player before? of all time. I swear Why was I've seen he so good? Before. Well, unlike other players, he pushed the limits of how long you can run No Novas for. When he was grinding Dang. for the Kino record, he constantly pushed No Novas to around 100, Dang. 110, hell, Dang. even 120, and Dang. in some cases, 130. Dang. This is really good as he was pushing No Novas to nearly 20 hours in the game which is a wow. little less than one third of the game. This meant he could play much faster than the previous records and allowed him to push the record up exponentially. On November 30th, 2014, Flip would achieve round 220. Woo! Yep, Dude, just you heard that right. It. Round 220, it. a seven round difference wow. from the previous world record. Wait, seven? That's seven, it's, yeah, he's, he's talking about round 213. Sorry, my brain. I like I get it. He meant seven. Understand it was seven. It's just like I'm looking at this, I'm like nine. <laughs> How impressive this record was. Flip played no novas until he downed on round 135. It, it is seven though. It is seven. It would only take one more down on round 176. Seven. On top of that, he was only 14 years old when he achieved this record. Lastly, it is estimated he Four played at This motherfucker is 14? This guy plays Fortnite now for sure, dude. This guy plays Fortnite f right now f for sure. For sure. At least five hours faster than the previous world record, which is, well, to say the least, what insane. The Phillips showed that running no Novus for a shot, long time was baby. not impossible. This was groundbreaking Jesus. as players, technically plus seven speaking, equals nine. could run That's no correct. Novus to reset, which allowed them to save even more time than before. Since this was possible, it would encourage many Dude, players to attempt to run Nova's past round 135. Bro. Look at him. He's got the after Hell, like some players attempted to run no Nova's <laughs> to reset. One of these players is someone you'll recognize. Yep, it's Magic Gobox. Hey. Over the years since his 209 world record, Gobox slowly got faster on the game. In fact, he got so good at playing fast, he would eventually achieve the first sub-7 hour on 100. This barrier would not be broken until huh? five years later with Fire Rim's sub six hour round what? 100. Anyway, because Globox became so good at playing fast, he would attempt to six run no hours as long and as optimized as possible. 
Though running this strategy was hard as hell. Goldbox would eventually get a few train. games, Not one of which was slightly higher than Phillips and Onova's record. I'm kidding, it's even scarier than that. On May 29th, 2015, Goldbox would achieve round 226. Yep, huh? round 226. What? If it what? wasn't obvious enough, Goldbox had to run Nonova's further than Philip, and he didn't just Damn. achieve round 140, or 150, or 160. Hell, not even 170, it's for the French! or even round 200. For the French! La France! Vive le France! Seconds. Yeah, you heard that right. Let's 72 go! 72 hours without entering the lobby once. And during those 72 hours, he would only take one down. Yeah, this record pretty Excuse much me, huh? changed Kino forever. Not only did a player have to run Nonovas to reset, they could only take one down too. Although, there was one problem with Goldbox's game. He accidentally skipped round 123. Oh. Yeah, I know some of you are confused by this, oh. so let me do some explaining. To skip oh. a round, you have to wait until a round is about to change. When it's about to change, run into the fire trap room, and you'll skip a round. Obviously, this is not allowed for world record attempts. Although, since it's not allowed, it can become really frustrating when it happens by accident. And that's what happened to Glowbox. Oh. However, on round 224, Glowbox held a zombie in the window for 22 minutes to make up the round 123 skip. So, okay. this record, while controversial, isn't as controversial as others for- Dude, uh, why are motherfuckers getting upset about that? There's nothing he can fucking do. It's in the fucking game. Motherfuckers are purists getting upset about that. Come on, man. This reason. Come on. Because of this, I will count it as a new why, world record. And also, why, is that, why does that not even count? I feel like in 2021, in a COD Zombies map, like if that was in Mauer, I feel like that shit would count. In the following weeks, I, just, months, just the way it is, and years, not a it single person could get close to Magic Gold Box's record. It wasn't until a well-known Zombies player, Frox wow. Wrong, attempted to beat it. Compared to other players, Rox Wrong was a perfect one to beat this record, as he held the Origins world record. Also, wow. he was pretty good at Black Ops 3, and held a few world records there. So, to say Rox Wrong was a bad Six player is a huge 92. understatement. Oh, yeah, Even bro. running no Novas to reset was not a challenge to him, because on January 7th, 2017, Rox Wrong would achieve round 228 on Kino de Toten. Starting from round 1, Rox would get the near perfect setup, and from round 30, to round 128, he would get some of the luckiest dogs ever. While wow. the exact number of four rounders Rox got is unknown, it's pretty likely he got at least 35 four rounders in this game, and he wow. barely missed any instas, which allowed him to play faster. Despite playing with Nova crawlers and running alley instas, Rox's dog luck allowed him to achieve round 228. If it wasn't obvious enough, this does not sound right. Even with the luckiest dogs and barely any missed insas, Wait, Rox did he would cheat? not have achieved round 228. This record became quite suspicious as more players oh, looked no. into it. How no, was it possible to cheaters. beat Goldbox by two rounds? Why does Kino have so many cheaters? What's going on? It's running strategies that were much slower than his. Well, what the players found was shocking. Rox Wrong, who is a well-known and very trusted player, was caught modding his game. It turns no! out, Rox was found to have a mod menu, or a modding program on his oh, desktop. No. Now in his 228 game, Rox moved his cursor off the screen. So how is it possible he only had one monitor? Well, it wasn't Rox playing, it was actually Wings of Oblivion. Wings of Oblivion was a well-known modder in the Zombies community, huh? most notably his modded No Man's Land world record on Moon, and his modded round 218 Kino game. Anyway, Wings had two, possibly three, or more monitors at the time, which explains why the cursor went off-screen in Rock's Wrong's game. Oh. Still, there is more evidence to point to this game being modded. In the game, Wings was playing under Rock's Wrong's name which had two capitals, and he was playing on PC, which means he was most likely playing the Steam version of Black Ops. However, the only person named Rox Wrong on Steam had all lower cases, no capitals. This means Wings most likely used Zulfir- Chat, the moral of the story is, don't fucking cheat, because you're gonna get caught, even though you think, yeah, it's zombies, yeah, yeah, like, wait, how can they figure it out? We figured it, we figured out everything, man. Motherfuckers got time in this community. We'll, we'll bust your ass out. Fernos, which is a commonly That's used Black moral. Ops 1 trainer slash mod tool for zombies, usually used for practicing strategies. Although, it allows players to change their name mid-game, which might explain how Wings was able to play under Rox Wrong's name with two capitals instead of all lower cases. 
This is just two of many pieces of evidence confirming Rox's game was modded. Still, this doesn't answer the most asked question. Why did a well-known and trusted player allow Wings to mod a game and pass it off as its own? True. No one knows the exact reason why Rox did this. Though maybe, maybe he owed him a favor. So, oh. Rox Wrong said on Twitter the modded Kino game was a troll. And he actually made a video <laughs> about it, but it has since been privated, uh, although I believe otherwise. Why? For a well-known and trusted player to randomly mod a game and then say it was a troll does not sound right to me. The sweet Chat, are there like players uh, that are banned like against like p p posting leaderboards? I bet you there are people that are. Like this motherfucker must be. This is a possibility Wings Bruh. used something from Rox's past as blackmail. It's is just, it, dude, it, he posted that tweet in 2017. It's just a prank, bro. Literally fits perfectly. If this was the case, then just, Rox Wrong was actually a victim, not a perpetrator. In his final post on Twitter, victim. he uploaded a screenshot responding to the players who called him out. In the tweet, he said truth, justice, insight, <laughs> responsibility, reflection, and retribution. What this, so what was the truth? What really happened during the Kino game? Unfortunately, Justice. we will probably never know as Rox most likely will never come back as this was his first and only permanent scar he got. Because of Rox's game, many players were discouraged to play Kino besides one player. This player that had been playing Kino for a while now and became one of the fastest to play the map. Ooh. In fact, they were so good they would eventually achieve a new record of round 227. Can you guess who it is? That's right, it's magical, but just kidding, it was actually <laughs> Zombie Tube. Zombie Tube was a fairly unknown zombie oh, player no. and was barely Dude, talked they, they just did the French like that. F for the French in chat, F for the French. Vive la de France! About in current times. Vive However, he was one of the most influential players of all time. During his time playing Kino, he would come up with a new strategy called Triple Trap. This strategy used a fire trap and the electric trap leading to the stage, but it also used a dressing room trap. The new strategy was approximately 3 seconds per board faster than the double trap, or 3 SBH for short. Dude, this this made Kino Gatone one of the first near-optimized maps, hence why ZombieTube was one of the most influential players. However, his influence isn't the only thing that separated him from other players. His skill was on another level. How you ask? Well, in his 227 game, he played flawlessly. Yup, you heard that right. Zero downs. To make it more impressive, his flawless world record still has not been broken nearly four years later. Also, he was on pace to achieve round 230. Sadly, he got really unlucky with this dog round and reset an hour earlier than Glowbox did. But he was two hours and a half faster than Glowbox at 226, Damn. which shows you just how fast Triple Trap was. Obviously, this Holy record was shit. monumental, That's and beating crazy. it would be very, very challenging. Adding on, no, starting around late 2017 to early 2018, Black Ops Zombies was going through a big change. It was found out if you disable graphic content, you can extend your reset by a couple of hours. And doing fast restarts made your reset lower. So players did a safe oh, restart. A safe restart is when you quit out of map and relaunch it. I this no resets idea. the entities to zero, which will make your reset as optimized as possible. Lastly, players found out if you open certain doors such as debris, it will remove a specific amount of entities. So, is it from possible the map. to still Depending break this on the then, map, Chuck? If you activate the East Reg <coughs> song, it would remove it three be. entities off the map. What? On the map Shinger Law, if you activate the minecart, it removes one permanent entity. This oh, is just a few of many ways players can extend a reset. Still, really, despite really players optimizing the reset to the fullest, beating ZombieTube's record was very hard. Running No Novas at 22 SBH the entire game with zero downs was almost impossible. Yeah, like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Starting around early to mid-2018, there was a surge of players who were attempting the Kino record because of the optimized reset. Also, it was like, found if you remove Kirk Revive off the map, it extends a reset oh, roughly 20 to 30 plus minutes. There's the on paper, this sounds like a terrible idea. Your turn. Hey, but you chat. have to remember I'm on my you can way. only take one down and continue go. running no Novas, so removing Kirk Revive was worth it. Still, players struggled reaching Good high rounds as running the triple trap fast. Wow, so they basically were like, we need to get rid of quicker vibes. So this motherfucker lost all of his quicker vibes. That's fucking insane. 
He's French! Vive la France! Vive After la France! Time, players tried running no Novas to a high round, such as 150, and then running the rest of the game with Novas so they could play safer. This was perfect because one third of their game was played really fast, while the other remaining two thirds was played safe Bro, and somewhat that, fast too, allowing them to potentially beat Zombie Tube's record by one to two rounds, mostly due to the extended reset. On August 31st, 2018, one of the best and most underrated zombie players, Tango Fam, would achieve round 228. Tango, Remember when I said players Dude, would play a, one third of their image. game with no Novas? Well, unlike other players, you Tango attempted to run no Novas as long as possible. And he pretty much did for almost the entirety of the game. Although on round 187, he would take it down due to a thunder gun fail. As shit as the down was, Tango kept Kirk Revive on the map because he expected to take it down. So on round 190, he Bruh. bought Kirk Revive and played it with Novas. This that also hurts. meant he had to play that AK-74U instas, which isn't ideal, though playing these strategies did not matter as he played no Novas for two thirds of the game. Eventually, Tango would reach round 228, Thunder but then, 28 minutes later, Tango reset 75 hours and 33 minutes into the game, making this the longest oh. reset achieved on Kino. Wow. Despite playing much slower than ZombieTube and Glowbox, Tango proved you can still get the record even at a slow pace. At the same time, this inspired players to play as fast as possible for perfect optimization. One of these players I will mention is Slayer. Despite being one of the most known players, chat, does anyone still race Kino because of the Chronicles version? Yes or no? What do you guys think? I don't know. In the zombies I don't know. community in current times, back in 2018, he was relatively unknown, which is shocking when you realize he was and is still one of the fastest players ever. Starting around the age of 13 and 14, he would achieve a few speedrun world records. Some of the most notable ones being the top round 30 fuckers. and 50 speedruns and the direct what? round 50 speedrun world records. Motherfuckers, this is 13 years fresh out the fucking womb, they're on to Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies going for world records. Just one of many huh? records he would achieve, and in early to huh? mid-2018, he set his eyes on Kino. Within just a few weeks, he became familiar with Hey, at least trap. he's not Still, playing, playing Fortnite. Playing Triple Trap is like, very can, hard, can we get some but that did not chat? stop not him. Fortnite. In fact, it encouraged Woo! him to try and optimize the strategy not as much Fortnite. as possible. Why? Not well, Fortnite. he intended on running no Novas the entire game. As difficult you, as it was, Slayer was very good at playing consistently, meaning he could deal with less issues compared to the previous players. On September 16th, 2018, Slayer would achieve a new record of not 228, not 229, or 230 or 231, what well not fuck? even 232 or 233, Slayer would achieve round 235, oh making this the biggest God. round gap since Skullbox's 209. Also, this became the third game to run no Novas to reset, and for the first time in history, Kino de Toten became near perfectly optimized. A record this good, which was thought to be impossible, became possible. Even some of the Crazy. best Kino players struggled to Crazy. beat the record, and has remained that way since. Okay, I got ahead of myself there. Yeah, While the record is impressive as hell, you can still beat it. Theoretically speaking, you could reach round 240, although you <laughs> would need insane dog luck and barely any missed instas. Despite 235 being optimized as hell, that didn't stop players from attempting to reach round 240, though it would take years until any player got close to Slayer's world record. Throughout the entirety of 2019, barely any players would reach round 230, which wow. is another example showing you just how hard it was to beat wow. Slayer's 235. It wasn't until five. early 2020 players were able to reach round 230, mostly due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Oh, because true. of the pandemic, more players than ever could play 70 plus hour games. This inspired some well-known so players funny. such as Magic Glowbox to attempt the Kino world record. And within a month of the pandemic, Glowbox would achieve a new record of 236. However, there was another controversy. Oh, wow. Despite playing faster than Slayer, what players the found fuck that is Glowbox this? used a health bar. This allows- What the fuck? Motherfuckers- Motherfuckers got the fucking soccer jerseys on? The player to see their exact health. Depending on the map, this can be really useful, such as Shangri-La, which has a wonder weapon called the Baby Gun. This wonder weapon shrinks yes. zombies into small zombies, allowing them to die instantly with any weapon. In the process of shrinking the zombies, the damage they deal is decreased too. Instead of dealing 60 damage per zombie slap, the baby zombies deal 5 damage per slap. This can become an issue as figuring out your exact health without a health bar is near impossible 
is zombies can slap extremely fast when they're small. This is not the only Shake thing a health bar can come in handy for. Traps can baby. be an advantage with a health bar too. Specifically the fire trap which deals less than Dude, 60 like, damage each this? time you're in it. Obviously this is really useful if the game sometimes does not give you a red screen when you're low in health. If a person is using health bar, they will know they are low on health and will shoot their T-gun or get out of the fire trap depending on the situation. So you can see why this is Are quite controversial. That, because it's a relatively contra- What the fuck? Dude, they look like Venom. They- You guys see those googly eyes on the creepy crawlers? What the fuck is that? Controversial game. It's tricky to figure out who has the record like as a community Venom. is pretty split on the game. However, goddamn compared spiny to certain right advantages there. such as Fast Ray, the health bar is up there in terms of the biggest advantages you can get. So since this is my video, I have come to the very tough decision of deciding Slayer's 235 game is a record. Still, I think this so. doesn't discredit Goldbox's game. At the end of the I day, so. this is my opinion. That's and funny that they have 240 up there. There's something to be learned from this. Respect others, even if you don't like their opinions. Thanks for watching. Clappers chat, what a video. The 240. The 240. Very good. Very good. I don't know if I'll be available. Okay, so he's easy. Thank wait, you. Wait. Thanks for to Floyd for helping out with Syndicate's. Did you want to watch Fortnite World Cup? Fortnite! I'm sorry, I'm not having this guy on the podcast. Fortnite! Fortnite! Yes, lad! Fortnite! Lastly, thank you to everyone who modded their game and cheated to a record. We love you. Shout out to you. So yeah, chat. Uh, great video, Krups. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm going to get the easy 240. That's it. That's, it. That's right, chat. I'm going to get the easiest 240 you've ever seen. Six minutes. Give me six minutes. I got you.